Bhagavad Gita, verses 1.24 to 25. Sanjaya said, O Bharata, King Dhritarashtra, having thus been addressed by Gudakesha, Arjuna, Rishikesha, Shri Krishna, drew the excellent chariot into the midst of both armies. In the presence of all the kings and prominent personalities like Bhishma and Drona, he then said, O Partha, just behold this assembly of Kurus. Sar Artavarshini Rishikesha means the controller of all the senses. Although Krishna is Rishikesha when he received orders from Arjuna, he became controlled by Arjuna's sense of speech alone. Ao, Bhagavan is controlled only by Prema. Gudakesha consists of two words, Guda and Akesha. Guda refers to Guda, very sweet, unrefined sugar. Just as Guda only exhibits sweetness, similarly Bhagavan exhibits the sweet taste of his own affection. Akesha refers to the manifestations of the Lord who preside over the modes of nature called Guna avatars, Vishnu, Brahma and Mahesha. A indicates Vishnu. Ka, Brahma, and Isha indicates Mahadeva, Shiva. How can these parts or Guna avatars manifest their majesty before Arjuna, considering that out of Prema, Swayam Bhagavan, Sri Krishna, the crest jewel of all incarnations, obeyed his orders? Instead, they consider their lives to be successful by manifesting the sweetness of their affection towards Arjuna, who is therefore known as Gudakesha, one who receives sweet affection from the three Guna avatars. Indeed, Bhagavan Mahavishnu, who is the lord of the transcendental world, once admitted to Arjuna, I only brought the sons of the Brahmana here with a desire to see both you and Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam 10.89.58 Gudaka also means sleep, and one who has control over sleep is called Gudakesha. It is not surprising that the same Arjuna, by whose Brahma even Sri Krishna, the controller of Maya, becomes controlled, conquered just one ordinary function of illusion, called sleep. This is its hidden meaning. Bhishma, Drona, Brahmukataha means in front of Bhishma and Drona. And Sarvesham Mahikshitam means in front of all the other kings also.